aggressive today. Again, uh, Cape Breton is coached by Matt Skin. And they've got Ben Miller on the bench, too, as a new assistant coach. So, former Acadia All-Star. Some good coaches there, too, as well. DeKal Brooks will try corner three. A little short. Kamari Scott rebounds. Saran General is going right to the basket. Drop pass not there. Dale Fair says it's going to be Cape Breton basketball. So we'll see if the game plans change. You saw a women's Cape Breton women uh, lost by about 20 today, but it was close for a large portion of that game. So we'll see what strategy is here for Cape Breton. Cape Breton's off to a good start. Mitchell Mercer, all. nice post move. Again, you know, UPI is, they're not the tallest. They have to do things by association. Corner three again, and just like yesterday, Sam Chisholm gets on the board first. Hits his first three, three-two. Welcome to the broadcast again, everybody. AUS action. Too strong there for Callahan going back. Oh, look at the Caesar parting for Chisholm. Uses his body efficiently and gets two. Again, all four or five points for UPIs. Along to Sam Chisholm. Travel for Cape Breton. It's going the other way. There he is, Miller. Makes it easy. Syringe. Wow. So 7 2. Again, Cape Breton doesn't want to get down a lot. They want it, you want to come out and, and do your thing on the road. DeKal Brooks leaves that short. Two of his shots are a little bit short so far, but he's got an amazing shooting stroke. Good penetration again. Great recruit there. Just as Pfizer. Pfizer saying hello to his family. And I uh, got great communication with his dad in Germany. He emailed me. So I was like, good, good for him. Can't wait to talk about his family and uh, the great basketball player his son is. So I'm sure the whole family's watching. It's a little bit, it was two in the morning there, and they were they were watching in Germany, so it's a little bit better time now. I think it's probably like six o'clock, seven o'clock maybe. So that foul's going on to Kel Brooks. It's 9 p.m. It's 9 p.m. in Germany right now. It's a little bit better. I'd be just having Heineken and getting ready to go. Nine four here early in this one. They're in a zone, so we'll see what they do in the zone. Miller can't get it to go. Little in and out step. Ah, hands got in there. Kamari Scott. It's his first foul. But but positive for Kate Breton to be. Uh, they, they seem like they're 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 in a different defense. Their offense looks a little bit tighter. They're going to go with a uh, uh, penetration first. They got, they got the guards to do it. Penetrate, kick it out, get some good shots up, see what happens. Stay tight and then uh, try to win a basketball game at the end of this, uh, in, at the end of these four quarters. So 
Easier said than done playing against a strong Panther team. Timeout called by Cape Breton Matskin. So we'll see what that timeout did. So it's 9 5. We'll see how that timeout did. It's going to be Cape Breton basketball. Try to look for a score. That was a wide open look. That's the look they wanted. So good timeout. You get a chance to set your defense. See what they're doing. They're in a man to man. Miller. You tell, like I, I kind of called at the beginning. I was like, he's gonna, he's gonna look to be more aggressive. He can kind of just, I think he's got the capability of taking over this game whenever he wants. He didn't, he didn't get on the score sheet very much last night. Guys are in deep. Can't get that to go. It was Cato in there. Football. Four minutes in, you're seeing Isaiah Ankara, who was very exceptional last night. And that seems to be a, a trend with a lot of a lot of teams right now. The girls have Devin Lawler as their sixth person, scoring 16, eight points a game. Same thing with the Panthers. They're looking for Ankara to be that charge off the bench, right? Not really a scoring position. Cape Breton's just a little bit too far outside. They get a nice jump shot out of it. Kamari Scott will try it on the left side. Chisholm, a little strong. Good block out by Cato. Callahan flips it up kind of. Why not? Oh, yeah. Mercer, oh, Mitchell Mercer, oh, getting it done. So this is all tied up here. So that timeout early for Cape Breton was a benefit. In and out with that one. Kamari Scott's three. Nice jump stop. Wow, that handle. And the turnover. So last night in there was two games. UPI won here, 88-74 for Skate Brown. But UMB, Dalhousie was at UMB, and Dalhousie squeaked out of there with a win. It was three points, so that would that's a close one. And Dalhousie's picked high in the league. And then UMB's maybe they're gonna they're gonna surprise some people. They have to stay healthy. Just looking at some of the numbers from that. So Cape Breton takes a one point lead here. And they want to, Cape Breton wants to make this game as ugly as possible. And that's their goal, is just, just fight it out, throw in some defenses, give UPI different looks, and just continue to just scrap and claw and, and then see what happens at the end of the game. Nine seconds on the shot clock. Elijah Miller doesn't, they're waving it off. Foul on the floor. 
What makes me so special is it, it's almost like with basketball, you have to dribble the ball to move. And, and for him, it, it just, it's almost like he doesn't have, he's just, he can just walk around with this ball. And you see it there, like, he, he, he just doesn't, that's not a hard skill for, for him. He just, both hands, either hands, in and out, weaving. And you saw him, that's what makes him special. Kamari Scott has that too, an Ankara, but it just, there's Ankara trying to get a deep. Wow, oh, stepped out of bounds. That's, that's too bad. So you just watch it here. It's very calm and relaxed. This is this is an all Canadian plane running the point. This is a, a, a zone defense. Can't get it to drop. So some of these threes that UPI were hitting last night are not falling the same way. Pizer. For either team, really. Oh, you see the, the, the handle is just the, the body control. Like, how do you do that? Gets his own rebound, doesn't even bring it into his hands. He's almost like playing like four square with it. You know, you just hit the ball on the ground, like, swoop, volleyball. That three's off. And that, that's a good foul, actually, because that's one way you can stop UPI's fast break is foul them. But you got to watch out. They're creeping into bonus here. So Kamari Scott's going to run the point. Pierre into the game. Corner three. And he's he's feeling pretty good. He his stroke's looking nice tonight, today. Tough defense there. The spin and the touch. You can see he's gonna be more aggressive. He knows that he only had five points last night, and it wasn't because he can't score. He just He's just like, yeah, no, other people were, he's so unselfish, it's like other people are, are are leading the charge tonight. But that's dangerous when you're dealing with one of the best players in the country. Because they'll come back and be like, yeah, it's my turn to get going here. Justus Pfizer is on the line here. Great game last night. He got hot. And you can tell that they're UPI knew that and watched the tape, and they're 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 sending more more people into into space to, to try to stop him. But if Kyle Cape right now be running my offense through him at the moment, good handle, gonna be a good point guard, defender. Saint Pierre will try and hits his first three of the season. Confident. Oliver Saint Pierre. from Quebec. Great recruit for the Panthers. Deep three. It's no good, 10 point spread here. Cross court pass. Mari Scott's got some body control and can score. Vital piece to the Panthers this year. Great guard. In one deep, deep position there. So a good start by Mitchell Mercero. Foul's on number 11, Isaac Ainsley, his second. Into the game, 4 Cape Breckman is number one, Jason Jackman. On the line, Jason Jackman. Kyle Brooks coming into the game. First look. Take Anchor out. Back in the game, 
Zuccal Brooks into the game, scores right away. So 11 point, 11 point spread here in UPI's favor. Zuccal Brooks into the game, scores right away. So 11 point, 11 point spread here in UPI's favor. Oh, look at the contact, body control, hello. Pfizer with, Pfizer with a, a great play at the rim. His team needed that. Darren Clark into the game. Yeah. Pierre over to Brooks. Mario Scott posting up. It's interesting because they're all guard size. EPI is all a group of guards. Just makes them. You'd think it'd make them easier to play against, but they're just so fast, and they're just everywhere. So you got to be really careful with the basketball. Look at the handle. In and out. Darren Clark, Goldman, leaves it short. So at that, at the end of the first quarter, Cape Breton stuck nine going into the first quarter break. We'll be back in about a minute. The ball's moving here nicely for Cape Breton. There's the man who's been scoring and does it again. So he's got 11 points. Mercer out. UPI's got to find a way to contain him a little bit better Watch against this zone. I'm just watching to see how... No, it's man. They're shifting a little bit. It's a, it's a switching... They're switching a lot of different stuff. UPI's running... Not, there's not running a lot of screens. It's more like motion type offense. Hey, body control. Hello. Sam Chisholm's got 10 points. Great start. He looks really dynamic and active. Hanson over to Callahan. Mercero. Pfizer. Steele. Can't enter the ball that way. And, and then you're, you're going to get it coming at you. And that's the problem, right? You cannot enter the ball to the post from that angle against a... Uh, a team just make one more pass and then put it in. If that's your game plan, then then do it right. But if you pass the ball in there against a guard-based team, you're going to have it rammed down your throat, and that's what happened. So Kamari Scott, you know the the time the turnover is made down here. It only took three dribbles and the ball's in the basket. Imagine having to defend that. It's too fast. So you have to prevent the Panthers from getting in those situations. So you have to run a discipline offense if you're Cape Breton. Violation. Do it again. That's frustrating. Isn't that frustrating as a coach? And it costs you a point. So UPI running a man-to-man. -man. Darren Clark. Pfizer, blocking foul, He's going to the line for two shots. St. <laughs> Pierre is going to pick up that foul. Foul's called in the air, so it's 
two shots for number five, Jesus Eisen. problem on that. His form is incredible. Many hours in the gym. And that's what's neat about, you know, someone like, like Pizer's coming in to Canada. Plays a different game. Um, because, correct me if I'm wrong, his family can correct me, is that he would have probably played through the club system in Germany. So grown up working fundamentals, maybe juniors, juniors playing with senior teams, getting those looks, um, grinding, putting in time, deep, deep fundamentals, ball handling skills, and dungy little gyms, weird gyms, um, you know what I mean? But they just get it done, right? So, and that's the product. In Canada, it's more like, hey, we'll go to the playground and, and pick up and, and play, and, and, and then fundamentals afterwards. So. It's just a different outlook. Look at Dekel Brooks. Can't get that to go. Hansen. Can't. I don't know how that didn't go in. But they better get back here. Chisholm's going nicely at the basket. 13 points. And his angles. Do you see that? He caught it. The ball was going right at the basket. No around like bananas lines to the basket, right at the basket, saying, hey, you got to stop me. Hanson can't get it to go. This is a dangerous time of the game for Cape Breton. Oh, ooh, met at the rim. It's going to get fouled. Kamari Scott, what an athlete. Dangerous time of the game for Cape Breton because, you know, Elijah Miller wasn't on the floor, so now he's coming back into the 728 mark. He's feeling fresh. Kamari Scott's running. And Hanson, that, that last shot by, by uh, Lee J. Hanson was a good one. But I want Cape Breton to, to keep being aggressive. You know, you're on the road. Be aggressive first, establish it, then the perimeter game will open up on the outside. Uh, second one's no good. Oh, nice pass. No, no charge there. Good call by the refs. No call there. He doesn't need much space. Leaves it short, but his running mate is Batman and Robin. Kamari Scott cleans it up, puts UPI up 12. He's coming on strong. Oh, just devastating for Cape Breton. Like, you know, I'm looking over at Matt Skin, who is the coach, and he knows it's got a few turnovers. Maybe UPI is not playing their best basketball. They're doing things to give themselves a 12-point lead. They want to polish things up and make sure that they're continuing to get what they want on their home court. Great job. Thanks, camera crew. Anchor was hot last night, and Hala definitely does it again. Callahan has it, so dangerous 15 point lead. Callahan over to Hansen, Pfizer. Not much room to make that pass, and you saw. Yeah, and Coach Glenn is, is upset there at his players. They didn't communicate through that screen. But what a pass. There was no room to make that pass. And just perfect soft touch. Teammate picked it up and finished it. That's, that's a little bit better Cape Breton basketball. Miller to Brooks. Hot hand, Sam Chisholm. Back up top. Chisholm gets a look. Over to the corner. St. Pierre. 
Can't get it to go. This is a set play here. And another, I was going to screen, I'm passing to you. Oh, one more pass to Oliver. In and out. Tried one from one corner, might as well try from the other. Hanson works around the court. Callahan will try. He got a great shooting stroke. Oh, finds the open man and a dangerous one at that. Anchor can't get that to go. Cato, weird pass. I've never seen anybody <laughs> pass right there ever. But it worked. Cato cleans it up. So they're hanging around. They're really hanging around. Brooks trying to work on Hanson. Dribble penetration over to Brooks. A little bit short. What a rebound by Chisholm. And Ankara will try from over there. Dangerous. Two for three from behind the arc. He's picking up where he left off just 16 short hours ago. Surrender into the game. Cador into the game here. Toronto, Ontario. Hope you enjoy the broadcast. Four minutes, 26 seconds left to go. UPI up 14. Story of Cape Breton maybe of, uh, not getting as many shots as they want. Too many turnovers. But UPI leaving that open. They're getting some action through the high post, and that was Tyson Cato. They have to clean that up for the Panthers. Deep corner three. Boom, boom. Kamari, Scott. Book it. UPI shooting the basketball very well here. Maybe not for the first five, five minutes of this one, but... Oh, the silencer. Callahan, he's got range. Keep him in a minute, 12 points, why not? Ball movement has been exceptional for the Panthers. Very unselfish. Oh, terrible foul there, because that's too bad for the Malik Cater will foul that. So it looks like UPI will get over the 50 point mark for uh, first half, which is very good. I don't know what was happening there. That's back over. It's three lines at center court here. It gets a little bit difficult to, usually you're looking for like a black line or something, but there it's, it's a green line. I don't even know what the other ones are. Maybe volleyball, volleyball stuff. Shot clock is down, which is weird because it should have been reset to 24. You can't float passes up, the, up, up against this Panthers team. Can't do it. You cannot turn it over right there. And that will not... I was always, I, I don't want to ever tell him this, but I was always scared to play against him. <laughs> he was just that good. So, uh, you know, just a shout out to both these great coaches and uh, they've done a great job with their respective programs. Callahan running the point here, down 15. They need to try to get this within 10 here in the last 248. UPI running a zone. That's not a good idea with 
with Callahan. Oh, he's talking to Kamari Scott. It's like, are you going to guard me? I think that's what he said. Are you going to guard me? Yeah, a little chippiness. Anchor is going to say the same thing, though. Hey, are you going to guard me? Yo, yo, yo. <laughs> oh, here we go. The duel. Let's see what Callahan does now. There's a screen. He's going to look to shoot. I think he, they need to go back to him. Look, he's wide open. But that's even better. Great, great job by uh, Tyson Cato at Ajax, Ontario. He's playing a really strong first half. Stepped out of bounds. Everybody's stepping out of bounds there. You notice that there's like seven or eight people between the women's and men's team. Stepped out of bounds. Right there. So, but he hit that shot too. It's too bad. He's on fire. Callahan over to the big man, Cador. And this gentleman's done really well. Mercero turns it over. You turn it over against UPI, you're in, you're in a little bit of trouble here. Elijah Mills going to bring it, bring it back up, reset, look for something. Oh, tough check right there. Finds an open Kamari Scott. Stepped out of bounds, and other people stepping out of bounds. <laughs> Thanks a lot for the great crew here. We're uh, working things out as the start of the year. I like our crew. We got a nice, nice little camera action happening here and producer. One minute left to go. 13 point push. He, he, what? What? Coach Glenn, I don't know if you can see it, which Coach Glenn is, is yapping about. He's like, he said he was shooting the basketball. So they, they called that on the pass. But what really happened there is that Elijah Miller, you, you don't know what he's going to do. So when he was driving in, he, he's going to look to pass. He's going to look to shoot. and He's going to look to pass again. Then he's shoot because he's so gifted athletically. He just keeps that ball right there, and he can do whatever he wants. It's incredible. And and even the ref didn't even know if he was passing or shooting. It's incredible. That's what kind of skill set he has. So 15-point game, 56 seconds left to go. Let's see if Cape Brighton gets a good possession here. I like this movement. Into the post. Kador doesn't have an angle to shoot. He's going to go for a two for one here. Tipped, 16 seconds. I mean, UPI's put up 53 points. Good hustle by Ankara. Callahan will set. They're going to play for uh, one shot, I guess. They try not to. They don't want to give it back to UPI. Hanson. Long, UPI gets it back. They got enough time. Well, yeah, there's a shot. Ooh, gets a shot off. So at the end of two quarters, UPI Panthers, oh, 53 points, Cape Breton 38. Join us back here in about 12 or 40, you're under 40, uh, 50% shooting. Cape Breton's shooting 13 of 33. So. That's kind of the difference. Uh, UPI's got a rebounding edge. So, 15 point spread here. The 
Cal Brooks working on Callahan. Kamari Scott, right to the basket, smooth. He's got 14 to lead the Panthers. 17 point gap. You see, you can't do that right out of halftime. You, 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 you have to make, you can't turn the ball over on dribble handoffs. So that's the difference here. And that'll give them 11 turnovers for the game. And UPI isn't really putting a whole lot of pressure on them. That was just like, it's basically an unforced error. Nobody forced you to make that mistake. And then you give up an offensive rebound and shot and then two points. So a turnover leads to a basket on the other end and you're trying to weather the storm on the road. It's just, it's, it's too much for a team. You travel, that's another turnover, 12 turnovers. It's just little things that you you got you, you, you need to work on coming out of halftime, mentally focused. So to start this game, first minute and a half, UPI's got four shots up, three shots up, Cape Breton's got two turnovers. You can't win games like that. Oh, good catch. Oh, Kamari Scott's gonna pick up the foul. So it's not, I'm, I'm not being critical. Um, Matt Skin's going to talk about that with his team in the, when they get back and watch this tape. It's better offense. And that's where your point guard, Callahan, comes in and has to do a good job. And you can get a shot that way. You can play basketball. You can compete. Mitch, Mitchell Mercer is the person they should be getting it to. So he's got 16 in this one. So there's your hot hand. Trying to get him the ball where he can make make a play happen. Chisholm can't get that to fall. And 15 on the baseline. Hooser. That's a nice take. Right to the basket. Going. Could have been contact. Speed. Oh, should have fallen for him. He, ah, that's... that's the basketball gods weren't kind on that little play there. But exactly what you want to see out of Sam Chisholm, who's had a great game and a great weekend. He'll take a break. Anchor will come in. Strong to the left hand. Can't get it to drop. And Kamari Scott is putting the exclamation points on this game. 16 points. And we just started the second half. And Pfizer's, he's working hard. Those are great shots. His third foul there. Heiser is going to pick up his third, and and that's what he needs to do. He just keep being aggressive, and like last night he got super hot in the second half, kept his team in it, and then today just just those three little ones missed them, but he just needs a break. Think about it; it'll go down. Scott's hot. Dekel Brooks is always hot. Great shot by Brooks. So smooth. That's what I mean. Who are you going to key on? You've got three incredible guards out there. Oh, he takes a charge. Anchors taking charges. Elijah Miller saying, hey, yo, yo, you guys just keep playing. Just, just threw the ball in him. Because he's like, he's like, way to go. They're laughing. I'm not even watching. This is a technical foul. Cato will pick up a technical foul. He didn't like that call. Callahan's getting them to huddle up. Cal Brooks will miss the technical. 
EPL get it back. So what I was saying is like you got Kamari Scott, world class player, Elijah Miller, world class anchor, world class six man, and then you got Dekel Brooks is a is a is a five five player can stretch it and get super hot, veteran presence, and then you know you've got Ambler Surendran who's been working hard on the inside and getting baskets and doing the little things. Tough to beat this team. Hanson over to Callahan. There's a better dribble handoff. Didn't like the footwork. A little frustrating for Tuncliffe. Miller finds Ankara, wide open. Nice line on that shot, just a little heavy. 21 point match here. Callahan. Six minutes left to go. Nice little take by Callahan. Can't get it to drop. Dekel Brooks over to Elijah Miller. Finds underneath. Hello. He saw everybody he can pass to and made the right decision. Incredible. Mari Scott's going to pick up a, a foul there. Tried to shoot the gap. To me, his third foul. three-point game here. Just a little post move. Doesn't drop. Couldn't, that's going to start the fast break. Patience. Anchor is over there. Miller is asking for a screen. Oh. Oh, my goodness. Oh, that's basketball. Can't, cannot beat that. <laughs> There's so many, so many things that happened on that play that were just very nice. This Panthers team's looking good. Good try by Callahan. He's got the range. This is about to, the wheels could be, you're, in, you're about to have the wheels come off here. And it's a timeout time. It's got to be. I don't even have to look. So... Okay, Breton on the road, struggling in this one. Under a second day blues going on over there because this has not been a great start to this third quarter. Again, they were down 38-53. So they've only scored three points versus UPI's 15 to start this one. And that's gonna that's gonna help a little bit, Malik Kador. And there's the screen. Oh, how do you make that pass? Ankara over to Miller. What uh, what is going on? That's a beautiful pass. Can't finish. Kador, the last two baskets. So, they just needed a timeout to regroup a little bit. So, that's a 4 0 run after the timeout. Kamari Scott 
It's fouled by E.J. Hansen. Good screen there. Leaves that one short. Kelly and rebounds. He's looking at a double-double. Just remember what I talked about before in the first half when Miller has it. He, it's like he's not having to dribble. He's just he just walk. It's like it's, if you can go around and run around with the ball and just pass it. That's it, 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 it's not dribbling is not a hard skill for him, which allows him to keep his head up and see the floor. And then he's so balanced and versatile, going in each direction. He's just able to he's able to pick defenses apart. And he's doing it with, with the pass here, which, which allows your teammates to cut for purpose. When he has the ball, like if I make a good cut, I'm, I, can get, I can get a basket here. So you're starting to see that a little bit more. He's definitely the glue, and he doesn't have to always do it scoring-wise. Looking at a 23 point game with three minutes left to go in this one. In the third quarter. Look at this. Uh, just things you, you, you shouldn't you shouldn't be able to do with a basketball he can do. <laughs> And I haven't had a chance to chat with him yet, but I know he was—he uh, had a busy summer playing basketball. He's up in Ontario playing, and I'll have to ask him about his experience there. Maybe we'll get him on the broadcast here sometime next time. It's both. Pfizer's back in. He's replacing Mitchell Mercer. I was giving, giving them really good minutes today. It's a nice little action right there. Cape Breton's running into that action. I like that. Gets everybody moving. Visor is going determined to get to the basket. Very nice. Great handle. And that, that three won't go. Seen some really good defensive efforts here this weekend. Seven seconds in the shot clock. Pfizer will launch it. Short on that one. Over to Brooks. Two on one situation. And it's going to the line. Brooks will go to the line. Nice little game he's putting together here. That one doesn't go. Second one does. Darren Clark. A nice stretch of basketball last night. And 
Pierre's back in the game. No room for Andrews with his long arm, six foot seven. Miller. Foul. Hansen fouls him. Fouls on number 10, CJ Hansen goes second. Mary Scott's got 22 in this one. Elijah Miller's got 12 points and 10 assists. He's going to the line looking for his 13. This is 13 point so calmly. He's only taken 10 shots. He's got six rebounds, so. He, he's in, he's searching for a, he's four rebounds shy of a triple double at this point. And I'm telling you what I'm seeing. Oh, nice take. Visor. He sat for a little bit there, and he's brought brought them back on. And a lot of upswing going on with this young man from Germany. Body control can go left or right. Great handle. Amazing shooting for him. Cape Breton's got a good one. Saying hello to everybody back in Germany who just got up off the couch when that when that ball went in. I know you guys did. So that was a big basket, but it's still, you're looking at a very big lead here. Good to see Alex, John and Alex Voss get back into the game. He had a great game last night. Six seconds left to go. St. Pierre, a little strong. Good hustle, another rebound for the Panthers. And just watch. Watch this happen. Too much. Oh my goodness. Clark gets it. Another assess for Elijah Miller. 11 assists. Right there. The pass is right in the pocket. Rainbow. Miller with another rebound. So that's seven rebounds. Watch. I'm on the three. I'm on the triple double watch. Hey, Darren Clark's heating up off the bench. They just have some weapons. 11 seconds left to go in this one. In this third quarter. Yep. A little strong on that. Woo. So that's the... That's the uh, Scores 80-52, Panthers lead. Uh, Sam Chesson 12, Isaiah Ankara 12. So spread out. Cal Brooks has six. Uh, Surendran has six, and Darren Clark has the five you just saw there. Um, Tyson Cato is having a great game, 10 points. Mitchell Mercer 16. Um, Visor's got nine points. Three assists. And a few others are on the score sheet playing hard for Cape Breton as well. Look at the handle. Unbelievable move. That's, there's so many things. Like the pace was down to like a basically a crawl, and he's just you just don't know what he's gonna do. 16 points. The body control, change of pace. Another turnover for Kate Breton. That'll give him 16 turnovers on the night in the afternoon. So the points and the assist are, are racking up for Miller, but uh, I just want to get three more rebounds. Oh, couldn't handle that.
Cape Breton will look to build. They're, they're down quite heavy in this one. It's just a matter of building and, 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 and not doing that. So that's 17 turnovers. So they started out the third quarter, turnover, turnover, and UPI is basket, basket, basket. The same kind of thing has started out here. Just, just minimize your turnovers. Work on your, work on your fundamentals. Look at the rebound by Voss. Ankara, Bold. Ooh, let's give him 15. He is shooting the ball. Four of six from behind the arc. Cato. Cador. Callahan. Foul before. No foul on the shot. Good take. His first, team's first. On the line, shooting one for Kate Bradley. Our correction chart two will be number one, Jason Callahan. Callahan has played well. I'll give him ten on the ten on the day. Four assists, six rebounds. Consistent. They'll need big minutes out of him early on. But he'll be there come the stretch run. Confident player. Voss. Miller. Oh, how did he get through there? I don't understand it. Another. Well, that's not really an assist, but it should be. It just he can take the ball where where I've never seen before on the court or, or get through double teams and 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 move around and with his speed and quickness and agility and balance it's he's got the full package for for a guard you wonder you wonder what what the things are that make make players separate themselves and how do you become an all canadian misses both free throws boss there to rebound it leaves that short a bit Yeah, the slow, the, the it's it's not, it, it is a travel because you change your speed so much that you drag that pivot foot. So, yeah, so that'll give them another turnover. They've got 18 on the on the afternoon. Clark, getting some good minutes of play here. Ankara. St. Pierre can't get it, Oliver. And he's got a lot of looks. He's got a lot of great looks today. He'll get another one. And he will hit that shot. He's going to get a lot of open corner threes all season long. Not missing by much, but... Be ready to shoot. That hit the rim. To reset to 14. Good defense. Good hustle to inside. Starts a fast break. Lee J. Hansen will get it to go. Player down. And that's Malik Kador. Just don't need another injury. Scott will come back in for Ankara. Again, he's trying to build on his 22 point incredible performance. 22 points in 24 minutes thus far for Kamari Scott.
And you've got to start to talk about UPEI and there's Kamari Scott. So he's got 24. At the end of the season, UPEI plays well. They do well. Who becomes that player who gets a, a, another all-star? I mean, Kamari Scott, Isaiah Anchor is playing well enough. They're right there. And, I mean, Kamari Scott putting up numbers like 24 points, 5 rebounds, a couple assists. And the defense that he's showing, incredible. Callahan leaves it short. But we are only two games in, so maybe after 16 or so games, I'll, th I'll bring that conversation back up. And just the little things. Like, I'm watching Cape right out of bounds. Like, that was that was not a great effort. It doesn't matter your skill or talent level or there's four guys missing. When the play says turn and screen a player that's going to come to the ball, you have to turn and make sure you get that player. They didn't They didn't want to screen there. They, didn't, they just kind of went through the motions. You can't go through the motions. You have five minutes left. Six minutes left of AUS basketball here in your second game. I know it's tough. We're, get better. Do the little things right here to get better. And out of bounds plays, to, to turn the ball over and out of bounds plays because there's lack of effort is not getting it done. So I'm looking for getting back in practice and just looking at improving your fundamentals. So we'll watch for them next weekend. Cameron's into the game for PEI. Clark gets fouled at the end. That's a frustrator. It's going to go a Mercer up. Third foul. Clark hits the first one. Six points for him. In pretty quick, quick time, too. Short on the second. Did the touch? Yeah, it's going to stay Cape Breton basketball. There's a better cut. Mario Scott with another rebound. Six rebounds for him. Wide open. Hey, gets the stick. Lucas Cameron. Beautiful. Place goes crazy. Love to see rookies getting on and, and connecting. And his shot looked fantastic, too, I might add. Okay, Elijah Miller is one rebound away from a triple-double. 16 points, 12 assists, and 9 rebounds. Come on. Four minutes left to go. And his, sub, his sub might be at the table. Let's get him one more rebound. I think... Who is Chisholm coming in for? We're, we're on a triple-double alert, Coach. I'm going to... No, it is for Miller. Oh, no. Come on. Whoa. I'll give him a hand. I'll stand up. Damn. We were one We were one rebound away from a triple-double here. I'm going to send a memo. I'm going to send a memo to Daryl Glenn. But he did the right thing. Good coach. I mean, you're, you're, you want him to rest. He played lots of minutes. His stat line's incredible. Along with Kamari Scott, who's at the line. What a game. Just, he was impossible to stop tonight. Cursor. Nice rebound there. Did you see this effort by Kate Breton? 
Cato from deep. Chisholm with the rebound. Clark over to Kamaris. Get in there for him. Oh, can't get it. He's at 25 points right now. He's, his sub is going to be close to becoming to come in. Good drive. That's Mercer. He's played very, very nicely tonight. 16 points, 8 rebounds. Clark. Now. He's, his sub is going to be close to becoming to come in. Good drive. That's Mercer. He's played very, very nicely tonight. 16 points, 8 rebounds. Clark. Oh, nice little cut. Kamari Scott gets another one. Look at that. 27 points. Great game. He's a lock for player of the game, I think. And he'll be exiting. Yeah, so big hand for Kamari Scott. Like 27 points, six rebounds, a couple of dimes. DPI is tough. This is the signal to the league here. You better not. You better not say, "Oh, UPI doesn't have very much size and stuff." They will be coming at you, and they will make you play their game, which is not easy. So a lot of great teams coming together tonight. To watch X play. Super strong across the board. Great guard play. I haven't seen Dow play yet, but. You know, they're always they're always good. Katie, maybe a little bit of a rebuild. We're seeing Cape Breton here. St. Mary's has some pieces. Maybe a, they they've lost a little bit too as well. And Memorial, Ostanovich is back, and and they have good a good surrounding core with him. So they'll be tough, especially in Newfoundland. UPI has to go to Newfoundland this year for two games. So that's how it works. They alternate between two games in Newfoundland one year and then two games back the next year here. So that's not easy. So working hard. Alex Ward's in there. Grinding, getting some minutes here. Callahan is continuing to have a nice little match here. He's got 15. Clark. It's gotta go up. You can you can you can shoot that. Shoot it. And that's the difference is being ready. Like when you're a rookie, you're just like, oh, I gotta get it to somebody. Just just be ready and let it go. Fly it up there, give it a chance. But UPI has had a great weekend. Both the men and women will, will run away with this with, with four victories between them. Um, great start. You have to protect your home court in this league. The Panthers definitely did that today, this weekend. But can they go back and they have to go back and, and work hard and practice and always get better? This is... This is a Cape Breton team that will look very much different the next time they see see them. I can guarantee you that. They will get better at probably the, the biggest clip out of any team in the league. So um, saying hello to all the Cape Breton uh, fans who are watching in and all the parents. This is a good team that will only get better. And Matt Skin's a great coach, and he's got a great coaching staff. So do not worry about how things will look at the end of the year. Thomason that Mercer has got 18. Callahan 15. Tyson Cato 10. Coming at you. 
couldn't get it to drop that time. Cameron Brown. He's 6'4", but he plays bigger than that. Hanson. Thirty-seven seconds left. There'll be not too many timeouts. We wish uh, Cape Breton safe travels back. It's a long road trip. Oh, oh. <laughs> she has um, the big block there. He's just got a great knack for the for the basketball. He's got a great knack for the game. What a what a nice recruit pickup by Coach Glenn. Callahan and one. Twenty seconds left to go in this one. Let's hope that uh, at this point, let's hope that nobody calls a timeout. So that'll do it. So um, be well. Let's see. I, I think the I think the player of the game is going to Kamari Scott. So the Panther crowd here is celebrating. My friends in Cape Breton, uh, safe travels back, and thanks for coming over. And um, this team will see you over there for for the rematch uh, within a couple months. So want to wish you all the best. Thanks to AUS TV Subway for sponsoring. Wow.